Hi guys, this is Todd Yifu, and for today, we're going to review the topping D50S DAC. I compared it to the Modi Motibit, the Blue Sound Node 2, and the Chromecast Audio. And what I like the most about the topping D50S is that it has excellent measurements. And if you're a measurements geek, that's really all you need, right? But it also comes in a nice neat little package with Bluetooth and LDAC, with a remote, with filters to choose from, a display, and it's not very expensive. And it also has a flat neutral sound which doesn't change your system signature. What I don't like about the topping D50S is that, is that it has a flat neutral sound which doesn't change your system signature. Which would be great if you're if you already have that perfect sound and you're just looking to add a little bit of improvement. But in my case, I found it lacking and a bit too neutral. With that high cyanide, you'd also expect that the topping DFTS would sound natural and very transparent. But I took a spin with my Nori Jones vinyl with my ter Rega turntable and I just have to say that it sounds more like the Modi Multibit rather than the topping DFTS. So I can't say that it's natural sounding. And also, there's no way I'm going to recommend a topping DFTS if you don't have good RSA cables. In my case, silver plated copper cables or pure silver cables transform the topping DFTS from an utter disappointment into a decent competitive DAC. So if you're going to get a DFTS, please get good, copper, good silver plated copper cables. There's no need to go overboard. You can just go for something like maybe $20 to $30 and you'd get a good generic silver plated copper cable at that price. What I hate about the topping DFTS is that it just doesn't add anything new to the table, which is really my main gripe with Delta Sigma DACs because they all start to sound alike to me. They all start to sound the same. Perhaps I'm just desensitized because I hear it all the time in my TV, in my stereo, in my car, in my Bluetooth speakers, in my cell phone. But yeah, they kind of all sound the same. And the Blue Sound Node 2, I think would be a good alternative. It can help. It sounds good enough to forego external DACs at the price range of the topping DFTS for me. And I know that it's a bit more expensive at $550, but you can find one secondhand at around the same price as a topping DFTS plus a good RSA cable plus a Raspberry Pi streamer. So there's really better value in the Blue Sound Node 2 for me. And if you really have to change your DAC and you can't afford the more expensive, better sounding DAC, then yeah, you can get the topping DFTS and get that little bit of improvement. But I think the Modi Motibit sounds a lot more analog and more natural sounding. So I've been audio bold. So clear, you can even hear it yawn. My recommended secondhand price is around $160 or about 40% of the SRP. So if you can get one at that price, you'll be very happy. If you want to know more details on how the topping compares to the Modi Motibit and the Blue Sound Node 2 and Chromecast Audio, please keep on watching. After my shit Modi 3 review, I concluded that I'm not really a measurements guy and that measurements are nice, but what you hear in like in the end is what really matters. Of course, the shit Modi 3 is still $150 less than the Modi Multibit I compared it to, so I didn't really feel it was a fair and resounding comparison for me. I loaned the Modi Multibit to a prospective buyer who bought a topping DFTS compared to, and long story short, he decided to stick with the topping DFTS because he preferred the cleanliness and neutrality, and he offered to loan it to me for a review. This time, both are at the same price and should be more than a fair fight, so now let's take a closer look. This is a nice neat package with a display up front showing the active input, as well as the sampling rate and volume. Power button on the left and a thumbstick on the right for quick controls. 
though it also comes with a remote control that's easier to use. This has Bluetooth and is DSD capable to upping the modi multi bit. At the back, you have RCA outs and digital inputs for coax, optical, and USB, antenna for Bluetooth, and a 5 volt 1 amp DC input for power that can do 111 cyanide already on a standard charger, which I use in the review. But you do have the option should you want to spend more on a linear power supply. Overall, I think it looks great and provides lots of features for just $250. For the test, Two blue sand nodes stream to the DACs using identical coax cables and connected to the shit Freya using identical RCA cables. Freya outputs a single ager to the KEF LS50s and the results were a disaster. Not only was the Modi Multibit so much better than the topping D50S, but so was the blue sand node too and even a lowly chrome gas audio. The soundstage also felt like it had a low ceiling like I was living in a hobbit house. And I couldn't feel the cyanide as well like it was just a number that's forgotten the end like how many people your partner had sex with. I couldn't believe that someone would choose this over the Mimbi. Then I remembered, he also offered to loan me his silver plated copper cables and though I thought that measurement guys will disregard this advice and just use any cable, I figured why not. It could also be a good use case for a future video. And after connecting my pure silver cable, not only has a massive veil has been lifted, but the soundstage ceiling has been increased to almost normal levels, so I compared it again. So yeah, your high meshing DAC needs a non-meshable silver cable. And despite not changing cables for the Modi Multibit, for all my test tracks, I still preferred the Modi Multibit. But the differences are no longer a massacre and most of all, I could see that someone looking for a neutral DAC could choose this. The Mimbi is bolder, more aggressive and exciting, while the topping is more distant and level, like watching at the back in a concert. In terms of bass, the D50S is slightly louder but softer and has less definition than the Modi Multibit. But despite this, the Modi still has some fuller mid-range and vocals have more depth in them without losing definition. Leading notes are more aggressive and has a more forward orientation making vocals sound more alive. The highs are smoother in the D50S but also rolls off earlier and doesn't sound as sharp or as brilliant as the Modi Multibit. The sound stage is still taller in the Mimbi and the more dynamic boulder play makes it appear a bit more layered. The topping does sound a bit cleaner and so the cyanide finally reveals itself. The Mimbi is definitely the more exciting, more fun, more engaging DAC for me. And while my description might sound like a thorough beating, the topping D50S isn't a bad DAC at all. I just personally find it a bit dull and getting a silver plated copper cable will put the cost a bit more than the Modi Motibit. If you do prefer a, a neutral landscape or your system is already too aggressive, then you may want to avoid the Mimbi and go for the topping D50S instead. Next, I compared the onboard DAC of the Blue Sound Node 2, which by the way also has poor cyanide, to the topping D50S just to see how much they sound different or alike. In bass, the Blue Sound actually sounds a bit tighter than the topping. Mid range and vocals are mostly similar, but slightly more forward in the Blue Sound Node and slightly leaner in the D50S. There's slightly more details in the D50S if you listen for it, but again, it's really mostly the same. Highs are also a bit rolled off early in the topping, but not by much, and there's more textures that you can hear. Soundstage is slightly taller in the blue sound node, or rather, maybe the topping slightly lacks height, but there's a bit more separation in the topping. Again, with clarity, the topping does feel blacker and there's a bit more space between the instruments. I wasn't really surprised that they sounded similar, and you can imagine the Blue Sound Node 2 as a slightly less refined topping D50S, or the other way around, the topping is a slightly more evolved Blue Sound Node 2. If you don't have a streamer yet, consider getting a Blue Sound Node 2 instead, and there's no need to get that topping D50S or even the Modi Motivate because it sounds decent enough on its own, and just save up for the future, like a more expensive DAC in the higher classes. And as a bonus, it can also do full MQA as well as having a fantastic app to control your music. 
Thank you for watching and I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any comments or suggestions, just write them down below. See you in the next video.